Although we dominate the animals of today, many of these animals have extinct relatives that were a lot larger and more vicious than what we are familiar with. These animal ancestors look like creatures straight out of our worst nightmares. Who knew that the quickest way to strip an elephant of all its majesty was to replace that dick it carries around on its face with a duckbill? About 10 million years ago, back when evolution was still throwing everything at a wall to see what stuck, there were actually several different trial and error elephants wandering around. But Platybelodon was the only one with a long rat tail and a dustpan for a mouth. Paleontologists apparently have long-winded arguments on why nature would intentionally make an animal look like that. Some suspect that the shovel tusk was useful for gobbling up aquatic vegetation, but others are adamant that the platybelodon grabbed onto tree branches with its mouth and then sawed into them with those hillbilly teeth on the bottom. However, regardless of the actual function, platybelodon seems to have sacrificed all its aesthetic to achieve it because these elephants are an embarrassment. Pigs can easily revert back to their wild state after only a few months of being feral. Tusks will grow, the pigs will get hairy, and they will begin to act extremely aggressive. Pigs will eat anything, making them true survivors, and can weigh over 454 kilograms. If you had a time machine and went back 5 to 23 million years ago, you would go head to head with the Deodon. The Deodon was one of the largest Intellidont artiodactyls that has ever lived. Complete with tusks and giant crushing jaws, these omnivore monsters were the size of rhinos and perhaps more vicious than their wild hog descendants. The name Deodon comes from its previous name of Dinahias, which translates from Greek to terrible pig. Australia is home to all kinds of unique and bizarre creatures such as a wombat. It is a large and chubby marsupial that lives in Australia and nearby islands. They have a little pouch where they're still developing babies mature after being born. Wombats are burrowing animals that can grow up to 119 centimeters long and weigh a maximum of 36 kilograms. But these nocturnal tunnel dwellers used to be much, much larger. Their ancestors, the Diprotodon, were the largest marsupials to roam the planet. Diprotodons would have dwarfed their modern descendants, growing up to 170 centimeters to their shoulders, 305 centimeters long, and weighing in at a whopping 2,500 kilograms. To put that in perspective, that's a little heftier than modern white rhinos. Their pouches were big enough to fit a grown man. You wouldn't want to come across a mob of those guys. These giants went extinct around 25,000 to 45,000 years ago. Although they first came on the map 1.6 million years ago, they were preyed upon by another giant animal, a 6-meter prehistoric lizard, the Megalania. Today, the Komodo dragon is a fearsome reptile and the largest lizard on the planet, but it would have been dwarfed by its ancient ancestor. The Megalania, also known as the giant ripper lizard, was a very large monitor lizard. The exact proportions of this creature have been debated but the most recent research revealed that the Megalania's length was around 23 feet or 7 meters and that it weighed approximately 600 to 620 kilograms, making it the largest terrestrial lizard known to have existed. Its diet consisted of marsupials, such as giant kangaroos and wombats. Megalania belongs to the clawed Toxicophora, possessing toxins secreting oral glands, making this lizard the largest venomous vertebrate known to have existed. Turtles are lovable shelled critters. They are the only reptile to have a shell but lack teeth. They also hold the distinction of being the only animal with both a backbone and a shell. Turtles have been around for 200 million years, but some early turtles were not anything like modern turtles in terms of size. The largest turtle we know about was the Archelon. First discovered in South Dakota in the 1970s and one of the most complete skeletal fossils found to date. The Archelon is 4.5 meters from head to tail and 5 meters wide from flipper to flipper. They were sea turtles who weighed over an incredible 2,000 kilograms. Scientists think Archelons snapped up squids from the sea during their 100-year lifespans. If the modern snapping turtle can snap a twig in half and the heaviest one ever found was 30 kilograms, consider what a massive two-ton monster could do. Dunkelosteus was the largest of the prehistoric fish placodermy. 
Its head and thorax were covered by articulated armored plates. Instead of teeth, these fish possessed two pairs of sharp bony plates, which formed a beak-like structure. Their jaws had enough driving power to cut and break through armored prey. One of the largest known specimens found was 10 meters long and weighed 4 tons, making it one fish that you would not want to catch on a reel and rod. This fish was anything but picky with its food. It ate fish, sharks, and even its own kind. However, it seems to have suffered from indigestion, as its fossils are often associated with regurgitated, semi-digested remains of fish. These giant armored fish became extinct during the transition from Devonian to the Carboniferous periods. Most flightless birds today, consider the ostrich or the penguin for example, are harmless to human beings. However, there was once a flightless bird that terrorized the earth. Forest rockidae, also known as terror birds, were a species of carnivorous and flightless birds that were the largest species of predators in South America between 62 million and 2 million years ago. They were roughly 1 to 3 meters tall. The terror bird's prey of choice were small mammals and, incidentally, horses. They used their massive beaks to kill in two ways, by picking up small prey and slamming it to the ground, or by precision strikes on critical body parts. Although archaeologists have not yet fully determined the reason this species went extinct, the last of its fossils appeared around the same time as the first humans. Today, there are 17 to 19 penguin species, but not all scientists agree on the exact number. The smallest species is the little blue penguin, who are around 25 to 30 centimeters tall and have an average weight of 4 to 7 kilograms. The largest is the famous emperor penguin, who live in Antarctica, reach heights of 113 centimeters and average in weight from 22 to 40 kilograms. The emperors may be the biggest penguin today, but they cannot compare to their giant ancestors, who roamed the planet 36 million years ago. The water king could nearly stand face to face with modern humans at 152 centimeters tall and may have weighed up to 82 kilograms. These giant penguins were discovered in Peru in 2010. Besides being one of the biggest species of penguin ever to be uncovered, they were also more colorful than their descendants. Another odd animal hailing from Australia's previously isolated land is the platypus. By all appearances, it is one of the strangest animals alive today. When confronted with stories of the platypus before its official discovery, scientists thought it was a joke an egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed, poisonous otter. Oh, it's also a mammal. Even these bizarre creatures had a megafauna ancestor. Obdurodon lived in northern Australia and there were several kinds. The Obdurodon was over 91 centimeters, 3 feet long. The oldest evidence of platypuses dates back 26 million years, but they are thought to have thrived 5 to 15 million years ago. The giant platypus had teeth and probably ate a wider variety of food than modern platypuses, perhaps including big fish and frogs. Other giant platypuses are thought to have lived in South America, going extinct around 61 million years ago. Given that Synthodocerus roamed around the grassland of what is now Texas, it is a little infuriating to know that evolution zigged when it could have zagged. Giving us boring old horses is the most iconic animal of the Old West when we could have had this ancient species with a slingshot mounted on its face. Even though it is most closely related to the camel, there is no reason to think that humanity could not have domesticated a few of these. Now try to imagine American history with cowboys riding Synthetoceros into the sunset, or Native Americans steadying their rifles in that little notch while charging at circled pioneer wagons.